Yo, Mark, can you hear me? Hello. Hey, Mark, how's it going? How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, so just before we start, I, I just have to say a quick couple things uh, just uh, required by the school. So um, my name's Charlie Stewart. You're Mark Wiseman, right? Correct. And uh, today is Wednesday, March the 17th, it's 5 p.m. And I just want to get your verbal consent. I'm going to record this conversation. I just want to make sure. sure all right, for sure. Well, uh, how you doing, man? How's your day been going? Doing well. It's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Happy St. Patty's. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh. You good over there? I can't. Oh, oh, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you fine. Oh, there we go. Okay, I sorry you broke up there for a second. It's all right. I moved my phone. Maybe it'll help. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, uh, I guess. Well, I guess I can introduce myself. Um, my name's Charlie. I'm a college student. I'm basically doing a research project on making hip hop, like the Reddit and sub the subreddit. Um, sure. And uh, kind of like it's it's an ethnography class. So usually we would you know be going out and interviewing. Uh, people in like the town where my school is but because of COVID sure. I can't do that so I'm kind of doing like a an online version and basically just uh, I've interviewed a couple people so far uh, talking to them about you know um, what how they how they got started in music um, and uh, how they got involved with like the subreddit and and like what they kind of use it for and stuff like that so yeah. I guess we could get started off with like how did you get involved with like making music ah uh, long story short, I grew up in a deaf household. My parents are deaf. <clears throat> they can't hear. That's yeah. what I mean. And um, so music has always been a really big thing to me because no matter how loud I turn it up or what I do, it never mattered. Yeah. Uh, that was my start with music. But um, I don't know, kind of like growing up in the 90s, the 90s was a good decade for radio music. You had a lot of different things on the radio. Um, more often than not, actual artists and not like industry produced people like on a contract or anything. So you heard a lot of good stuff. Um, it rubbed off and, you know, here we are. Definitely. Yeah. So did you like, uh, did you get started off uh, playing instruments or did you like uh, make beats or do you like rap? I'm not exactly sure. I'd just love to hear. Like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. should have done your homework no i'm just kidding <laughs> um i uh the first musical gift i ever received i think i was like eight years old i got a uh electric piano uh like a, a proper keyboard from my parents <clears throat> and uh so I, I did i started playing instruments piano mostly guitar came a little bit later um as of right now i'm, I'm a writer i rap yeah. but uh you know, I stick my hand in production sometimes, but I never like my own stuff. So, I mean, that's, that's like the artist's curse. <laughs> uh, but mostly, mostly I write now. And then if I do make anything, it's, it's not hip hop related. It's probably more pop or something. Mm -hmm. If I'm actually playing music. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's actually great. Because one of the other questions that I've been asking people is like, do you uh do you self-categorize into a genre or do you kind of like feel like you make it <laughs> you make I'm, I'm sure i fit into a genre i'm not sure you can pigeonhole it uh, at all yeah um i've i don't know how to say it. uh i've had people listen to my music and tell me what the, what what it reminds them of sure I get uh, the Talking Heads, Bus Driver. I got Eminem like a couple times, but not really. That was early on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just uh, people I aspired and and wanted to be like. Um, 
A Tribe Called Quest, I get a lot, Far Side, stuff like that, real wordy stuff. Uh, but if I had to classify myself, uh, I, I would say hip hop. I grew up with it. I love it. It is a, it's a beautiful culture and it, it gives you an opportunity to express yourself regardless of it, whether you're art rap or mumble rap or it doesn't matter. Like it gives yeah. you <clears throat> the opportunity to write. Definitely. Uh, and this leads really well. I mean, like when, so, so did you, I guess you, uh, you've been producing for like a while, probably like before uh, this subreddit specifically was a thing or anything like that, right? Nope. No? Oh, when did you come to it? Uh, it was, I just celebrated my 10th cake day. It was about 10 years ago. I signed up uh, for Reddit because of the Making Hip Hop uh, subreddit. And it was just like a little bit of a thing back then. It was like maybe 200 people, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, only like 15 of them active. But um, that's when I started doing ciphers and, and Freestyle Fridays and stuff. I didn't actually start making uh, complete projects until probably four or five years ago. Mm. Yeah, so that's when I started doing shows, making complete projects, working with people, reaching out. I've always been on the subreddit, you know, critiquing and, and you know, giving feedback and stuff. But I didn't really establish myself on the subreddit until about four years ago. Definitely. Yeah. But that's pretty cool that you, cause like it's pretty much been around for 10 years. So you've almost yeah. been there like since it was, since it was off the get go, huh? Yeah, it was nice. I mean, before that it was, you know, you'd go to forums online, you know, and stuff like that before social media became a thing. <clears throat> we had internet forums and stuff and it take days to get a reply from somebody because, you know, just they weren't by the computer or on yeah. their phone. <laughs> But uh, Reddit came along and totally revolutionized how you could uh, interact with people. Mm -hmm. And um, a much like more accessible type of system than a sure. forum. And with like minded people. And what I mean by that is now you, you could join a discord and it's just a bunch of people trying to like promote their stuff or push it or something like that. When I ran into making hip hop, it was literally people making hip hop and just like trying to figure it out with each other. And it still is for the most part. Um, it's come a long way uh but yeah. it's it's a it, it's a beautiful little piece of the internet where you can actually grow and maintain learn things yeah well if you could speak on that like i'd love to hear your thoughts on like how the community has changed over time like since you first joined oh shit uh there's there's not a lot to say it's it's inundated now it's mm -hmm. <clears throat> because of the popularity of social media uh reddit has become like a cornerstone if you will like a pillar uh with that and and in it we try to break off sometimes like making hip-hop has become so large and integral and like people trying to grow and whatnot that we have little offshoots little other subreddits you know which is what growth is I mean you're gonna find things to nitpick and change the rules you don't like and stuff like that but mm -hmm. how it's changed uh I don't think it's changed a bit uh it, it it's a really good subreddit to, like I said, explore your growth and stuff. Um, the only way it's really changed is the amount of people and just how lost you can get in the process. Um, but they're really forgiving. Uh, on the whole, the, the community is very nice. And uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you a better place to go if you wanted to, you know, work on your craft. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And this, this is actually, yeah, uh, I mean, this is something that uh, I thought about a lot when I was kind of like setting up this project is kind of like, um, you know, what brings people into the whole making hip hop thing. Um, yeah. And one of the things is this is the community feedback threads. It's like a huge oh, yeah. reason why people join the community. And uh, I'm assuming that you've like submitted things to the feedback threads before. Right? Oh, absolutely. I have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. And so, I mean, I guess one of the things that I notice when I'm on there is that um, the feedback you get is usually pretty consistent. A lot of it is production. It's, you know, it's about your oh, EQs sure. or your compressions or, or things like that. And, you know, it, it, even when there is, there aren't, there are a lot more beat makers, right? But even when there are rappers posting things, yeah. 
oftentimes people don't really critique the the lyricism they mostly talk about the production and um i was wondering like do you think that um that uh th there are there are trade-offs to that but do you think that um uh maybe there's uh i guess the sorry i'm trying to figure out how to phrase this question no it's okay take your time yeah definitely like do you think that the feedback threads kind of um lead people in a specific direction with their music in a sense like there's almost like is it one side once uh, or no, yeah once i isn't like biased advice almost like people have a certain sound they like i could i could understand if you from the outside looking in yes um but being a part of the community no um there's like i said it's inundated like there's so many people there now and they're just starting off and and so you get a lot of that it's a flood of producers and it's easier to in my in my opinion it's easier to you know fire up a logic audacity whatever you use i use reason personally to fire it up and just like slap something together and be like oh shit this might be good and it, then it is to like write something and like be comfortable uh, enough with yourself to to show it to people and be like what do you think i can't tell you how many times i got bashed before i got a little bit better <laughs> Definitely. and but uh no, I, I think that's probably something they could do better. And the feedback thread is like probably just producers here, lyricists or rappers here, whatever. That'd probably make it better. But overall, I think it's it's pretty even. I've always gotten feedback uh, for the songs I put out. So yeah. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I think it's fair. Definitely. Okay. All right. For sure. Well, I mean, yeah, that... That's definitely interesting because I've heard, you know, from um, I, I talked to another guy who um, is a rapper and he was basically talking to me about how um, that um, I guess the word he used was saturation. Like there's an oversaturation of producers in the community, I think is what he said. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of that is 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 because of you're, you're right. Exactly. There's a lot of beginners. Um, but yeah. um but I guess, like, when you, um, do you think that, um, like, uh, sorry, sorry, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think right. things up on the spot. Uh, I have like questions written out, but I, I kind of like to deviate from them a little bit. Um, That's what an interviewer does, man. You're doing a good job. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess, uh, like. Uh, maybe going back to you, like, uh, I guess you, you've been, you're, you're kind of like working on your art, but I guess, do you, do you have a goal that you're working towards in your production? And I'm going to relate this back to making hip hop, but like, cause you know, I feel like some people, um, mm -hmm. that I've interviewed have basically said, you know, I'm doing this because I love it. I don't expect to make any money. Some people, you know, like I interviewed a guy and I really respect him because he seemed like he was working hard, but you know, he's a type beat producer, basically yep. sits down and makes type beats and like he's on his grind and he, he's earning like a pretty good living off of it. You know what I mean? And like- Nothing wrong and, with it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, I, I would love to hear your thoughts on like your personal goals. Uh, <laughs> my personal goals was just to, to aspire to be uh, somewhat, um, <clears throat> not on a level playing field, because you know you never want to overcome your heroes. But I always wanted to write like my favorite people, and uh, I've come real close. <laughs> uh, personal goals, though, um, like I said in the beginning, I love the culture of hip hop. Every little thing about it. All I ever wanted to do uh, was was have a show one day, just put on a show at a club somewhere. I don't know. I wanted that feeling. And then when it happened, I never wanted that feeling to stop. Mm -hmm. um, I used to live in Florida. I live in Oregon now. And I've, I'm lucky enough to have found um, promoters uh, where I can keep doing shows and stuff. I mean, not now because COVID, but yeah, before and then, you know, the after times when it comes back, I'll be able to go back to it. Uh, but the main goal is just to have it's, it's self-expression to me not as like an artsy fartsy way. I, not that there's anything wrong with that. But uh, I just want people to hear what I have to say and go, shit, yeah. huh, you know, and just surprise them. And the, the best way to do that is through a club 
uh, one of the best shows I ever had was here at, uh, in, in Oregon, Portland, Oregon, at uh, Paris Theater. And there was probably, it was the biggest show I ever did. It was probably like 200 people in the crowd. And it was, it, the, the feeling was electric. Like, I can't explain to you, when people gather and they all like the same thing, mm-hmm. it was an open mic, basically. And I don't know, that's, that's the goal, to feel like that always. Yeah. Um, I, there's, <laughs> there's no way I could be famous or want to be famous. I'd probably be too nervous and shit for that. So <clears throat> honestly, it is, it is just uh, getting your, your personality out there. And letting people know like your little niche of the of the world and if they like it thank god sorry there we go no worries um yeah well then i guess relating that back to like making hip-hop like i guess one thing that um i've kind of seen is you know that a lot of these young producers don't exactly um you know they're making beats but they did like i guess um do you think that maybe like um there's a trade-off between uh like they uh that the people's goals maybe get lost in kind of like the process of just uh you know making beats for the feedback of the thread like um because because i that's one of the things i've noticed is that you know sometimes people almost want to craft things that maybe not necessarily that they want but that the make the the feedback thread wants or something like that you know what i mean uh is there a trade-off uh, depends on the personality of the person and how much you care, um, especially on that side of it, producing, because like I said, making hip hop is so big and it is, it is saturated with producers. So you're going to, there's more of a, a mind hive of what something should sound like, you know? And yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure producers get lost. Um, especially like today's age, like, uh, when you said uh, with the type beat, person I'm, yeah. I'm sure he puts in work and shit like that but i'm sh- like it's, he crafted a sound around tight beats you know mm-hmm. uh so you lose i guess a little bit of the the soul or personality or whatever that would have came across in the music yeah for sure there there might be a trade-off but again it depends on your personality um you either want people to hear what you have or you want to get better and you want people to like you and then eventually once you get over that hump once you get over the hump of not, I guess not caring, but just being okay with yourself, you start making your own stuff. So sure, there's a trade-off, but again, that's what the community is, community is for. It's, it's growth. And once you hit that growth, once you're happy with yourself, you can make whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, I'd love to hear, because like you, you mentioned like uh, getting better. And I think that's a really interesting concept with music and especially making hip hop, because like, you know, the whole idea of the community, or at least kind of what the narrative of the community is is like you know people come here to grind their crap get better but what's kind of interesting about that is that it's you know it's like it's music it's like that better is a little bit of a vague concept with yeah. music sometimes and like yeah i was wondering like what your thoughts on that are like do you think that there's a certain level that you have to practice before you should just go focus on your own thing is it a constant uh is it a constant learning experience or like what, what are your thoughts on that uh on both sides as a producer you have to hit a plateau you have to again i I said something about growth but you have to hit a point that you're comfortable with and once Mm -hmm. you hit that plateau you can jump off and do some crazy shit sample some 1910s ragtime music and throw a little i mean you just got to get to that point as a rapper ah that's an entirely different scenario um i've always been comfortable with my writing I've been writing since I could read Goosebumps books. Uh, I was like four years old. <laughs> but um, so to please somebody with your, your own writing or something like that, that's never going to happen. I mean, people just have to dig what, what you're writing about, your personal experiences, blah, 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 blah. But um, again, it is a great place to to grow because you will find those people that are on the same wavelength as you and will support you. Mm-hmm. And rarely, rarely have I ever ran. I, it just happened the other day, actually. Rarely do I run into somebody who like just despises me. You know, it's like yeah. you fucking trash piece of shit. This guy made a whole YouTube video 
<laughs> on my music <laughs> review because I told him in a, in a feedback thread that his, his flow was a little boxy and he needed to like, I just essentially told him you need to like, just loosen up a little bit. And he took it personally, but that never happens. You know, um, that's rare. That's the first time it's happened in 10 years. Uh, so yeah, this thread is great for, for that. Definitely. Yeah. And I guess like, that's kind of interesting. Cause it's like, this is another <clears throat> big thing that I've been thinking about with this project is like, what do you, when you go into the community thread, like you get a bunch of feedback on your song, right? What do you, how do you choose what to, what feedback to incorporate and what feedback to just be like, you know what, that does not matter to me. That is actually a really good question. Um, let me think about what I want to say. Um, okay. So the feedback thread is for feedback and a lot of it you can dismiss. Uh, remember earlier when you mentioned um, for the producers, they talk about like uh, the EQ or, or the way the song is shaped. If they have yeah. a like a gooseneck EQ, you can hear it. Your highs are too high, your lows are too low. It's too muddy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't want to get lost. What, what was the exact question? The question know. was, was when you I'm get to go on a tangent, that's, <laughs> I'm totally cool with you going on a tangent, by the way, we got a while, but, but the original question was when you get feedback in a feedback thread, what, how what do, do you I use mean? what to keep and incorporate and what to ignore? Um, okay. So I have found my sound. I know how I want to, how I want to sound to people. Uh, what I will take into account is, um, <laughs> it's so funny because I'm so comfortable with myself now. I'm not going to change. Uh, but what I used to do is uh, a lot of people said I sounded too nerdy or uh, just they didn't like it or whatever. So I, I would take that into consideration and I would change my flow a little bit, maybe slow it down, pitch it down, like talking like this to talking like this or something like that. And maybe throwing some ad libs or whatever. Long story short, I take into account everything. But if I if I can dismiss a lot of the the new people that come in and like, ah, I don't like that shit. Uh, the production was was weak or something. I'm like, I didn't even make the beat. I rhymed on it. You know, it's, this is a collaboration. I'm I'm glad for that. But most of the time, most of the time, people are wrong. They're they're speaking from personal experience. But there's you know, once in a while, you'll find somebody who's like, ah, you did a really good job. I can tell you worked hard on this. It's just maybe you're a little lax on the flow or maybe, maybe you're a little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you're tiptoeing through the song instead of like really delivering it or something yeah. like that. That I'll take into account and I'll be like, oh, okay, you're right. Because the my work ethic, the way I do things, I just flat out do it and then you know, I'll put it on the feedback thread without mixing in the vocals or anything. Um, but if somebody hears that, I'll take their opinion into account. It's it's basically a buffer. The My workflow dictates the buffer that I take from the feedback thread. Sorry. <laughs> feedback thread. I'm working on a song right now and I keep hitting the space bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Same thing happens to me in Ableton, man. <laughs> yeah um i yeah well that's this is really interesting stuff yeah i guess like what that kind of makes me think about is like do you think that you can tell then like when someone leaves a comment and they really listen to your song versus when someone leaves a comment just because they have to or else they'll get banned uh absolutely <clears throat> absolutely um and even then there's there's like middle ground too it's like somebody might come across they might just be responding I, i'm guilty of that being like hey great great shit uh why don't you check out mine um <clears throat> i'm guilty of that but I, I do listen to every song it's just if you have nothing to say or like you can't make it any better you just got to be like great song i need i need my three comments so i can post mine yeah but um yeah, there's a, there's a, you could tell immediately almost. Um, Cause I've been working on mine for so long and it's, it's got a certain gravitas to it. Like when you hear me, 
Like when you hear my music, like, and you, you've heard me before, you know, it's me. Um, not in a braggadocio way. It's just like, oh, this guy, this motherfucker here. Um, so yeah, some people would be like, I haven't heard you before. I checked out your music. Fucking nice. Weird, but nice. Yeah. And then you have the other ones. Yes, there's, it's, it's, but it's not black and white. There's a little bit of gray. There's some people in there who have legitimately never, and I've been there for 10 years. I'm just, I'm relying on that, like that veteran shit. Mm -hmm. um, there is some gray area where somebody's never heard me before and they go, I can tell you've been working on it, but here are some points. And that's what I was talking about. Those are the points I'll take, like little lackluster on the flow, or maybe you should throw in some, uh, some flourishes or pick a different fucking beat altogether. Uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, this is really cool because this reminds me of this uh, quote that I heard from the uh, the guy who used to mix for um, D'Angelo and uh, uh, Tribe Called Quest and a couple other people in the 90s. And he said that um, if you're mixing a track, like ultimately the most important thing is if you like it or not, because if you don't like what you're listening to, you're not going to have any constructive feedback because you don't have an idea in your head of what you think it should sound like. Sure. And that's the poison. That's that's the pill and poison of like making, uh, not making hip hop, uh, not not getting involved with like subreddits, like making hip hop or forums or whatever. That's that's the poison. Is you try to show somebody who who has no context of what you're trying to do. Like you let your girlfriend listen to it. We all do this. We're all guilty of it. Like, hey, what do you think? And they just, mm -hmm, yeah. And it's not where you were expecting, but it wasn't a bad review. Yeah. So that that's the poison of it but i mean like i said this subreddit is perfect for it and even though it is saturated and, and a lot of people and blah, blah, somebody out there is gonna listen to your shit for real and be like hmm, here's what i think yeah and that's that's the beauty of it definitely you but you're right you're okay. right no no i'm sorry you're right though like if you have no context or like if you don't like it how the fuck is somebody else gonna like it like yeah, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess this, yeah, that actually brings me well to another question I had, which is like, do you think that you have personal criteria for what makes a good song or is it really just dependent, really song dependent on, on whether things are good or not? Uh, I don't know what a good song is. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, I know what I like. And I know I like what I see in songs. I'm really uh, big on songwriters. Uh, so I'm big on R&B, um, like jam band rocks, uh, jam band rock. Um, hip hop is obviously a big avenue. I'm just big on writers myself, personally, particularly. And uh, as a matter of fact, I don't know if you can see it, MF Doom was one nice. of my favorite rappers. Rest ever. The legend. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was one of my favorites because he was just so weird and <laughs> funny. But, uh, you know, other people listen to him and they're like, mm. and I hate this term, lyrical miracle. I fucking hate that term. If you're a writer, they, they just box you in, like, oh, this guy's yeah. smart. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but there is a flip side to that. The, the song could be produced really well. Like, for example, I don't know why I like The Weeknd. He goes against everything, with, with the exception of all of his music. Uh, <laughs> how do I say? I love the 80s synths and vibes. And I love Daft Punk when he worked with Daft Punk. He does everything right, but it's something about him that irks me. And I can't figure it the fuck out. And what's funny is my daughter, she's two, and she loves him. Mm -hmm. We were watching the Super Bowl, and she lost her fucking mind. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's a flip side to it. I, I don't know what I like in music. I know I like songwriting. And, yeah, sure, there's, there are good songs out there. I mean, that's, that's a given. Uh, Tribe Called Quest came out with Can I Kick It? And that's, that's one of the most notable songs of all time. And even what they sampled from was was a notable song so like that's that's gift through gap like you were gifted something you can sample it and then make it better like 
who knows what a good song is you just know it when you hear it yeah definitely well th- this leads me to my this this kind of my counter question to this which is that do you think that making hip-hop has a favorite or has like uh, an idea of what like the hive mind almost has an idea of what they think their be- their favorite song is or is it no 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 absolutely not no because it's so divided uh if you wanted that you would go to hip-hop heads uh <laughs> which is not even yep <laughs> it's it's not like making hip-hop at all but if you go to hip-hop heads that's what you're looking for they're elitist and like you know they love their shit uh nothing wrong with it but in making hip-hop no there is no favorite there is no i mean there are people who are known in making mm-hmm. hip-hop uh petra vita uh is one of my favorite artists i'm not gonna say rapper artists he, he raps mm-hmm. but um there, there are a few. Petra Vita, uh, I only know them by their username, so you're going to have to excuse me. GM, uh, GM Mallow, I think he just won the Cypher last week. Hmm. And uh, there, there's a few, but no. Is there a favorite? Hell no. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't work like that. It's not like high school in there. Only yeah. at the base level, like only on the, you know, comment threads. But like if you put out an album and you're allowed to post on the main thread, the subreddit, if you post an album you'll see the upvotes and even if it's good or bad you'll see the upvotes go to like 40 so you know there's there's a bunch of us list it's only 40 upvotes but at least a thousand people listen to it you know yeah. like your album mm-hmm. so no there's no favorite at all interesting all right yeah cool well then i guess like uh this is this is maybe a little bit more of a general question but sure what do you think has been your favorite part of being like part of this community i'm really involved in the freestyle friday and uh the cypher threads on tuesday Mm -hmm. um mainly because they are the mainstays and staples they've always been there since the beginning and when i was just starting out recording i've always been ready but recording is a whole different monster it's like you got to figure this shit out yeah like your presence and all that stuff but um I've always been a staple in those two because Freestyle Friday provides you a way to, if, if you're either or, a producer or a rapper, to express yourself. And the freedom of having like 100 producers post tracks and you're just like going through the th- thread listening to them. And, you know, you got your favorite producers, but sometimes you run into somebody and you're like, damn, that's nice. Yeah. And even as a rapper, you get to pick what you want to do and pick how you want to be. Um, the cypher threads, I love to death. And I can't tell you uh, how much I love them. It's because it's a, it's a proper exercise in such a, a, a zany community where like you can do whatever you want. That's the only one that has structure. And it's like, you have to use this beat. You have to use uh, this topic and you can only do eight to 16 bars. And you better do good. It, it gives you a chance to like, you know, exercise and and, and try something you haven't done before. And uh, so, yeah, that that's my answer. Those those two threads and and how it really affects people. Like it really uh, puts change into to somebody who's trying. Like I've I've seen people grow uh, on these threads, and it's just amazing. It's amazing what uh practicing and and stepping outside your comfort zone just a little bit will do for you definitely yeah yeah for sure so then what's your least favorite part of being a part of the community the amount of people and i know i i can't even really be mad at that but it is my least favorite part like when you have something golden and you don't want to let it go, um, it sucks. But you know that's that's <laughs> that's part of the process. Um, I just I I personally don't like how big it is. Mm. That's not the right thing. Um, how some things are ran. For example, again, the cipher thread. People complain about the beat, and it's like you don't. Like, you don't have to come to this threat. Don't say the beat is trash. They pick a beat. Whoever won picks a beat. 
like this is the point it's an exercise don't get mad about shit like that like and that's just like the newer people it's like this beat is too hard this it's like man just shut up move along and that's if that's the worst part it ain't that bad yeah it's a couple comments whatever i could deal with that yeah so you don't think that there's like any because that's actually something that i've heard from a lot of people is that you know i because people especially like my professor for example like assumed that mean people like jerks would be a big problem like trolls like like uh like I did, I, you know, I've been a member of this community for a while, so I know that it's a pretty supportive, positive place, but like, sure. you know, I would love to hear your thoughts on like why you feel like maybe that kind of like internet troll culture isn't as prominent in a space like this. Because you're actually bearing your soul. You have to have an account. You have to have status. You have to have, if, if you say some dumb, negative, uh, just, just, evasive gross shit to somebody and then you click on that name and they've only been an account for a month move the fuck on um if they've only been around even a year i give it up to a year uh because the first thing i do when i see some really negative shit like really neck just like just fighting to fight just to be negative i'll check that account guess what it's always less than a year old the reason is because you put in the work and it's it's an honest artist community um nobody has the intention of going there to fuck up anybody's day and the only people that do are the ones that get hurt when when somebody tells them you know their opinion or thoughts Mm -hmm. like those those you're in you're in the wrong subreddit maybe go to like will you like my stuff i don't know i just like you can't come here and not expect to be criticized i have been criticized endlessly And I love it because it's always constructive. Always. Like I said, one time in 10 years, somebody like really tried to take me to task. And it's, it's annoying. Like you just ignore it. It's just like dealing with a tantrum of a kid. Like, ah, ah, especially if it's not your kid, like you want to, yeah, but it's not your kid. So like, ah, (laughs) yeah, definitely. (laughs) All right. Yeah, for sure. Well, shoot, man. I mean, I'm, I, I've I'm running a little low on questions, but I mean, I guess if you have any questions for me, I can I would love to answer them. How did I know you were going to ask that? <laughs> I actually do have a question for you. What are you studying? I'm a music major. I'm not I don't go to a conservatory. I go to like a, a college. So like I uh, looked up your college. Uh, it yeah. seems to be pretty hoity toity. Number three in the state, I think. Yeah, it's pretty. No, I, lo- I looked it up like. Yeah. I was curious. Uh, do you play anything? I do. Yeah, I play bass what do you play? and a little bit of piano, uh, electric Word. bass. Yeah, and uh, I, I played in the jazz ensemble for like a couple semesters and stuff like that. That is fucking awesome. So you love jazz? I do. I I I mean I so yeah I can, we could I, can be tell you a little bit, I can tell you a little bit about my like musical background if you want. Sure, go ahead. Yeah, I so I'm like my parents. I I grew up listening to like '80s rock because my parents are sure. big that yeah. stuff. Like yeah. like Talking Heads. Like I actually really like. Oh, good rock, kid. You didn't tell me good rock. It's oh so yeah, no no no. Oh, I listen to the bad stuff too, like Bon Jovi <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. I I love all that stuff too. But now, like, hold on, actually, Bon Jovi's a treasure, motherfucker. Now go ahead. <laughs> okay, but like he's like the most stereo. <laughs> come on, that band is the most stereotypical. Like '80s. It is rah 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 but they did it they did do it. yeah um but yeah. yeah and then like i guess i didn't really listen to much like hip-hop until like high school like freshman year and actually funnily enough the first like person i really listened to was kendrick like it was probably good kid mad city that really got me and then uh to pimp that's a, a good one i blew my mind and that was what got me into jazz was to pimp a butterfly funnily enough because really? kamasi washington was on there yeah um, their cat and stuff like that yeah but that so that like really got me into it and then um yeah i mean i guess now i listen to a lot of like ever since i got into hip-hop it's gotten me into old stuff like motown soul oh sure it's an easy fucking, it's an easy rabbit hole to fall down like mm-hmm. where did that sample come from and then all of a sudden you're listening to an album from the 40s and the whole thing is good and it's like what yeah. the fuck <laughs> yeah no it's crazy the 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 musical that's actually something that because you know like so many people 
talk about sampling and like, well, I mean, especially because, you know, I go to a music department at a hoity-toity university. So like my, some of my <laughs> professors are like, I, not by, not the professor for this class, Gina, she's really cool, but you're my, good. <laughs> some of my professors from my other classes, you know, they're like really into classical, maybe to the detriment of other musical genres, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's something that like, um, I feel like doesn't really make a lot of sense because, you know, they say like hip hop isn't, you know, it's stealing ideas or stuff like that. But then you look back at classical music, people have been stealing each other's melodies since music was a thing. You can't look at it like that, though. That's where they that's where they get you. Uh, you can't take negatively like that. Yeah, we 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 learn and build on the people before us. That's the way you have to see it. So like sampling to me, it's not it's not stealing. That's your, you, yeah, hear, you perceive word. it. I know you, you perceive it a certain way and it comes out your ear another and it's just building a better idea. So, but I hear what you're saying. Those elitist fascist classical lovers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you teachers suck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to have to redact this part of the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Just black it out. Yeah. Black it out. Well, black I mean, government. yeah, she, I guess that's, Oh, I had another question I was about to ask you that you just made. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I have a tendency to throw people off balance. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, say? Um, oh, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on like splice and that? Because like, you were just talking about sampling, but like splice is like that next level of like ease of access to samples. Like, do you feel like that, that it kind of loses some of the authenticity of hip hop or no? Nope. No. Not at all. Not at all. Splice is a workflow. Everything about music, especially now, it's it's all tailor made and it's it's all about workflow. It's what you like working in. For example, when I record my music, when I record my vocals, I run all my vocals through Audacity. It is free. It is easy, and it is intuitive as shit. If you spend time with it, you could try to take me to a studio and try to convince me that they made me sound better, but I could do it in like 10 minutes right here. I put in the time. I've been doing this for 10 years and I put in the time, but no, it's all about workflow. It doesn't matter what you're working with. It's how you're comfortable with it. So when it comes to splice, nah, that's, that's if it's easier for you, Definitely. I'm happy with it. If it makes you feel better, good. Cool. Yeah, that wasn't even one of the questions I had written down. I was just kind of, I thought I wanted your thoughts on that. Um, All right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, shoot, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I've really appreciated talking to you. Um, I don't really have any more questions for you. I don't want to take up any more of your time. But uh, Oh, yeah. you're good, man. This is my day off. I'm baby <laughs> nice. free. I got a babysitter. I'm in the studio. Nice. Let me let you check it out. Yeah, I'd love to. I don't know how close my phone is, but Ooh. nice, very nice. Oh, the dual monitor setup. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even use. I I use. I don't use the second one at all unless like uh, there's a basketball game on. I'll be streaming it on the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you, brother. Yeah, for sure. And also, I was about to say, like, I would love if you if you like send me your SoundCloud or stuff like that. I'm definitely would love to check that out. And also, I'm probably I mean, I'm going to be writing about everyone that I interview. So I'll also send over um, my project once I'm done with it, if you want to take a look at it. So. Please. Yes. Um, and then will you have the video, too? Uh, I should have the, this recorded. Yes, I should. Yeah. So I'll send if you it. could, I'd love to, you know throw it up for my own personal this is the fifth time i've been interviewed and i love it yeah definitely for sure well Mark, this is my good. favorite one though and longest <laughs> yeah well this, it's a pretty this was like my this is like an official college thing so it had to be it had to be all uh thorough I had my all my <laughs> questions written out and stuff like that i hope i did well <laughs> show your work show your work baby <laughs> yeah definitely. All, right, all right yeah well, uh, i appreciate your time man yeah hit me up i'll be happy to send you a link I'm sure you'll like it. You have yeah. a wonderful night. For sure. Have a good one, man. Yeah, bye. Bye.